I'm, I'm going to go into a rave now, John, just just to, so I can get this newspaper out of the way. Okay. Tidying up the studio has got to be got to be a good thing. Um, the, it's more about the MOOC and learning technologies. The show we went to at well at Excel. Excel. Well, it's, well, it sort of com- is is part is background. It's actually a, a company called Learning Technologies, but I'm sh- I'm sure they they're associated in some way. Well, they've been uh, epic. I'm I'm sure it's been at Learning Technologies, and they seem to be part of this. Um, but we're moving into the business pages. The uh, Telegraph Sunday Telegraph fifth of May has um, a, a promotion, a suggestion. Qu- Questor thinks that the Learning Technologies Group is is cheap for a tech stock. But they start out by saying, um, well, this is James Ashton, saying that the so-called MOOCs, which is in quote marks, open brackets, massive open online courses, were meant to transform distance learning with the power of the internet, hosting a myriad of free courses for which students might pay for accreditation. Yet only a fraction of those learners complete their studies, and newish platforms such as Udemy have been hit by piracy claims. Uh, then it says there might be more opportunity in the workplace, uh, and then it go, goes on. But it eventually ends up saying this is this is this is a good investment. This company. But what what strikes me is that the news that uh, Seek, I think I've got the name right, Seek, it's an Australian jobs company. So th- this is the sort of workplace end of it. Um, invested in Coursera and also in FutureLearn. Uh, they got 50% of FutureLearn. The rest of it is still with the Open University. Um, but that has only been really reported in the sort of online learning fan base, I would say. I haven't seen anything about that in The Guardian or newspapers. Um, whereas this t- uh, Telegraph, but this is on the business pages, uh, has at least said this e-learning company is... Um, trading at 19 times next year's earnings which is an opportunity in the highly rated tech sector well this is very different from people saying the, the open university has no idea what it's doing and it's wasting loads of money on future learn that's um yeah it's quite different it is very different I mean, i'll just got i'm getting an agreement here from my my friend because i'm got i realize i'm going a little bit off topic for daytime radio oh that's okay but but um yeah it's, it's a different situation isn't it yeah yeah. Um, so you're not going to get a lot of stuff from the business pages on future editions of the We Don't Know show, but somebody somewhere should be reporting on. I mean, because uh, it isn't just uh, accreditation for bits and pieces, of course, that you get with uh, the MOOC platforms. Though I, I think that is cumulatively um, very worthwhile and and might well work in the in the workplace. Um, some of them are, are set up by uh, Google, IBM, other other companies that need people who know about AI and so forth. Um, so if you've got a certificate from one of those courses, you might you might get a job uh, quite readily. But just thinking about the education end, um, the degrees are being uh, offered through some of the platforms, Future Learning included, but Coursera and edX and others relate to some universities some of the universities seem to be a bit upset by the percentages that the platforms want um, but the, I think there's just a choice for the universities my, my way of looking at it that if they if they don't like future learn taking up bits of budget that could have gone somewhere else they, they may end up having to pay percentages to, to another platform mm. that's Anyway, what, what do you think has happened in the music business, John, over the last five or ten years, by way of streaming? I think it's all going to streaming, isn't it? It's, um, it's certainly got... Go a bit close to the mic, though. Mm. It's certainly got more widely used in the la- over the last ten years. Everybody is, uh, you know, streaming, doing more streaming now. And I, I think things like Spotify, Apple Music will over the over the next couple of years get bigger and bigger and bigger so um you know then they'll then uh, then there will uh, probably be less 
need for MP3s again. Well, you know, um, you know, it's kind of the same way as like, um, you know, music went with CDs. It's, it's, streaming services are getting more, more and more used. In my, in my opinion, that's what, that's what I'm seeing anyway. Um, people like Spotify, Apple Music, and all the rest of them, and uh, yeah, I, I must say I'm a Spotify user myself, and uh, yeah, I find it um, very good because you don't always want to uh, buy the music, do you? So it's good just to be able to stream it. Um, so, um, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's my take on Spotify and Apple Music. And, um, there, you know, there there are there probably are other streaming services are available, but I think they're the two main main ones that I certainly know of. Um, if you know of any more, uh, let us know. We we always like to know. W e n o t n o on on Twitter. We always like to know things. Uh, this is this is why it's called the We Don't Know Show because we always request to, like you know we like to find out information and know things and and learn things. And uh, yeah, that's why we're called the We Don't Know Show, and we don't claim to know what we're doing. Well, we know a little bit. We also don't know where, where radio's going. No, we don't. Um, we are on the FM signal one one six point eight in Exeter. There's, what the? There's, a, there's something in the background, isn't there? Yeah, it's, right. it's coming from out there. Out there. Mm. Oh, that's all right. It's coming. From, it's, it won't be on air then. No. Okay. Um... Shall I play a track? Yeah. This is uh, this is this is back to um, back to our our playlist on on YouTube. Uh, this is Revelation Roots for courtesy of Balcony TV. 